Agriculture in Oklahoma experienced a historic occasion when the very first Secretary of Agriculture from Ireland visited the state to explore possible economic and research partnerships with a European country. Ira Lisa Hines was there. Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb is helping develop a new relationship between the country of Ireland and Oklahoma. The relationship is designed to explore economic development and research opportunities in agriculture between our two countries, with Oklahoma State University leading the way. To be competitive, not just in Oklahoma, the region, the United States, or nationally. It's a very, very special event. It's historic. Dr. John Dardis is the first Secretary of Agriculture from Ireland and is trying to establish trade of both products and ideas between Ireland and Oklahoma. This is the first visit of its kind, according to Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb. Because of our rich history and heritage in agriculture and what Oklahoma will do in the future in agriculture, I wanted to have the Secretary of Agriculture from Ireland here. He accepted my invitation. I, I've been showing him around the state of Oklahoma. With a stop at Oklahoma State University's Food and Agricultural Products Center to see how OSU can help Ireland's agriculture sector. Having listened to the folks here today, and even coming with my own preconceived ideas, animal science is what the two of us have in common. Um, and that is not just sort of production animal science research. To me, that goes all the way to the fork, from the farm to the fork. Uh, so having seen the chain here, it's very much what I would have hoped for, but I didn't expect it to be as good as it is here. Um, this is one of the best universities in the US. It's a Langrat University. So we want to share our ideas with OSU and likewise uh, learn from OSU. And one of those areas to learn from is beef production. Ireland's a very large exporter of beef, but the quality of the beef we have in Oklahoma is very unique, premium and, and top notch. And the secretary is very interested in our beef uh, production in Oklahoma. It's legendary. I mean, Oklahoma beef production is legendary. So our beef is raised on grass. And I suppose I knew there was grass-fed beef here. I would have maybe come with a preconception that it was more, it was more grain-fed. It was more, you know, huge allotments and everything else. Um, so that was a pleasant surprise. I know talking to the OSU folks this morning, they're very interested, given commodity prices, from learning from us how we do grass-fed. Um, so it's just a natural fit, and I'm not convinced that natural fit exists in other places. A fit beneficial to both Oklahoma and Ireland. But the first part of any successful relationship is building that relationship so we can get to where it's an economic benefit and good opportunity for Oklahoma. And I think we've taken a lot of positive steps in the right direction today. Creating a partnership that helps Ireland move forward. I think, to be fair, a lot of the focus in the past has been on policy. Given our economic circumstances, the focus is now squarely on trade. I'm a doer. And I don't believe in traveling around and, and not getting things achieved. And uh, I think anything you look back on what I've done, I've got an outcome and I want to get an outcome out of this. An opportunity for both countries whose roots run deep in agriculture. Are you doing much on dairy products, Roy? Now, Dr. Darda says he anticipates a long-lasting relationship with Oklahoma, focused on improving trade, food security, and other agricultural issues.